TV Entertainment with our Baby, let's go! Hi guys, I'm here with your favorite actress, who's also my favorite actress, popularly known as Iyaba Oja. How are you doing, ma'am? Thank you, darling. You came here to look like one young lady. I said, I'm like, I was just young lady. Girl, I'm young. <laughs> I saw you saying I'm that. I'm still ma. 23. You look it, you look it, you pass. <laughs> So much has happened for Princess this year, so anything positive you'd like to say to her? Just hang in there, baby girl, and be strong. Just be focused and stay true to your truth, you know? And that's what makes you strong. That's what makes you you. Um, in life, there's a lot of disappointments that will come your way. My girl, you just need to stay strong and keep looking at the positive side. Sorry, let me tell you again. Keep looking at the positive side of life and trust me, you will get there. So just stay strong and love you. When you love you, every other thing will follow. That's it. You just motivate me too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about you a little bit now. You've been acting more on TikTok. Do you enjoy it? Which one is more taxi between acting and TikTok? You've been doing a lot and I, I love it also. Well, they are all taxing. They're all very taxing, very taxing, all of it. But the only beauty about TikTok is I do it in my own space, in my, at my own time, when I feel um, when I feel the need to do it or when I'm in the mood to do it you know like acting um, once you pick up a job you have to go whether you're not in the mood or in the mood you need to act so it's you know but apart from that um, it's fun <laughs> all right thank you so much for talking to me yeah you're welcome hey everyone my name is the Pasha's Bosse and you are on the baddest of the baddest of the baddest of the baddest TV it's the any other bad most TV and did you know 20 years on stage coming up soon don't miss it cheers hi guys I'm here with your favorite comedian if you're worried boy how you doing I'm fine I'm at your favorite comedian uh -uh. Uh -uh. wow <laughs> wow that's deep but you're mine, you're mine. Okay, oh, okay, really, well, you're beautiful too. Aww, should I just follow you and go home now since you come No, home. I'm married. I just I do so. <laughs> I like that, I wanted to get that reaction. So we're here for Princess. First of all, she's been through a lot from, you know, this to that. First of all, anything you like to say to her positively? Of course, um, keep doing what you're doing. God is watching. Um, we're solidly behind you, basically. With the molestation and everything that happened with sexual abuse, do you think victims that have a voice, do you think they should come out more or, you know, they should just, you know, all that with everything that happened, you know, with the fans, followers, everything on social media, do you think victims don't have a voice? Of course. Um, they've always had a had, um, voice. I think it's the people around them that's the major problem, right? If, if there's a victim, the first thing you should do is um, psych that person enough to know that the person is a victim. A victim is a victim. A victim cannot now be the one that, that will now be, you know, dodging from what people will People will always talk. They are negative people. There are pedophiles out there who will disguise under comment section and just say stuff to make you know, you know, talk. Then some of the people that have done it before too will be attacking people so that people will not be able to talk. So the first thing is people around that victim should be able to to psych the person well enough to know that you are the victim. So it's only right that you come out. Once you have said it, at least 50% gone already. So it's the, 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 they are, they have, they've always had a voice. All right, before I let you go now, let's swift to your world, the celebrity world now. Most of your colleagues are coming out to display their wealth, their new car, the new house. Do you think it's the pressure that comes from the fans or is just something some people just feel like to do? Do you think it's a pressure from the fan? It's called show business, right? Um, as you are doing the business, you are showing it. Some people find it comfortable, some don't. Whichever rocks your boat is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. it, it so especially in Nigeria, people judge people by what they have. They judge you successful by what you display. You know, but some people have enough content to show they don't even have time to show what they have. It's good for both parties. Whichever, whichever one is good for you. Uh, let me go straight to the point. If you buy a car of 100 million now, will you flaunt it to the world for us before you know you rock your car fully? No, tell me, let me just ask you straight. Uh, first things first, I'm not buying a car of 100 million now. <laughs> but even if I do, it's not my life, it's not my style. It's not my style. I've never, I've not been that kind of guy that would just, I, 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 I want people to see my work. I don't want people to judge my lifestyle. So that when I'm broke too, nobody will know. Oh, you're not broke. Me, me and you know that you're not broke. Abby. I'm not broke. No. Not I'm not. Broke. No, I said so when I'm broke. No, every even Dango they broke sometimes now. Yeah, it's natural. Oh, you're not broke. I'm just putting out. I'm not. I did not say I'm broke. Do I look broke? Hey. That's what I'm, that's what oh, I'm, I'm singing it. Come you know, see, I'm, I'm, I'm very deliberate about. Blue dress. That's what I'm not. Blue dress. It is going to work to do. <laughs> Thank you.
you so much for talking to me. Thank you for having me. All right, my name is Yabo Joe. Yes, this is your baby girl, like I say. Don't tell me I'm not a baby girl. And yes, keep watching Eniola Badmos TV. Hi guys, I'm here with a veteran comedian who I grew up watching, who I'm still starstruck seeing right now, because this is my first time being with him. I'm talking about Ben Gade in Cardiff. How are you doing, sir? I'm good, I'm shy. I grew up watching you, and I remember when you were doing your thing, my mother would come and call me, see your favorite comedian is here. I grew up watching you. And it feels so good to be here with you, finally. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm, thank you for the kind words. I'm excited, and I'm happy to be here, too. I'm glad to have you. So tell me, what's your idea about Prestige Awards? What do you think about this award? See. When they came to my office and said they wanted to do this, I said, where have you guys been all along? This is long, 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 long overdue. I'm excited. I'm happy this is happening. And I pray that God will bless them and give them the strength to go on. Amen. But do you think there's a major difference between skit makers and comedians? Do you think no. they're taking over the skit, skit makers? Skit makers are not taking over. They are comedians. We've always done skits. Skit makers are comedians. They're just another arm of comedy. Stand-up comedians are comedians. They are not... Uh, the major part of, of comedy. Them Zebrudaya, Aluwe, Papa, Ajasko, all of them were comedians. They were just, they, they, they were doing their thing. They, they were part of the comedy. So skit makers are not taking over. It's their time. Let them blow. But others will, other arms will still grow. I'll let you give my last question. The year is about to come to an end. In your wish list, is there anything you haven't done that you said this, uh, this year? I'll do it before December. <laughs> You just ticked everything off. I've not ticked everything yet. This year, this year, God, you see my heart. That thing that is bothering me, help me tick it off. Yeah, Lord, you know, help so me speak into existence. Off. Help me tick it off. All the people I'm owing money, help me tick it off. Off, 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 come here. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to thank me. Thank you, thank you. Guys, I'm here with the veteran comedian who goes by the name of Lek Pasha Borse, who's looking absolutely beautiful, by the way. How are you doing, ma'am? I'm doing good. I'm excited. It's a good evening. When I was like, that's my favorite. I grew up watching you, and I'm like, wait, I'll... believe me, I was starstruck when I saw you. <laughs> I grew up watching you, and whenever you come up, my mom would say, oh, your favorite comedian is here. <laughs> That feels good to know. That feels good to know. Thank you. Thank right, you. Before we go about you, let's talk about Princess a little while. Okay. So she's gone through a lot this year, been through that, been through here. What's the positive thing you'd like to say to her first? Well, I'd like to say she's a strong woman. I mean, it takes guts. Um, I haven't been through one tenth of what she has been through, and I can't even think of having a show. Um, COVID happened to everybody. So even people who are strong willed are thinking about. Should I have a show? Should I not have a show? Then she went through all that storm and all that challenge and she's still coming back to have a show. So I think that's, that's a recipe. That's, if, 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 um, if strong, if determined, if um, dedicated was a human being, I would call it princess. So I think that um, she's, um, she's good to go. Yeah. Okay. Now, with the molestation, with the sexual abuse, first of all, do you think victims don't have a voice? Do you think they should keep speaking up, or you know, because you know, with the way the fans receive it, the followers receive everything that happens around the princess. Do you think victims have a voice? Do you think they should speak up more, or they should just owe that? All over the world, victims are still finding it difficult to have a voice, even in America, with all the freedom of speech and everything. Um, I studied law, and um, one of the reasons why I refused to practice law was when I was taught. Um, in 300 devil rape and I found how difficult it was to even prove rape. I, 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 I remember being in class and being traumatized, like being angry, being bitter, like how, how can you, say? this is obvious, you know, and that's the thing about rape. Rape is one of the, uh, one of the issues where the victim becomes um, the accused in less than two minutes. I, like the case turns, and then the victim is suddenly the accused, uh, and you 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 are suddenly asking yourself, why did I speak up? I should have kept quiet. You're stigmatized. You're you're traumatized. You're insulted. You're back. You're you're you're, you're backstabbed. The people you thought would stand by you are the ones that are fighting against you. The people you expect to say we, we're going to be there for you. Then people are going on about like. What's the big deal? It has happened to everybody. Why, why are you kidding yourself? Let's move on. It has happened. It has happened. You know, we live in a society where people feel you are trying to punish the, 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 the accused. You are trying to get back at the accused. This hatred, this bitterness. They are not thinking of justice. They are not thinking of closure. They are not thinking of the victim. They are not thinking of the effect on the victim. And all these are the things that come to play when you see this kind of situation. Um, if the, all this could have happened to somebody, um, who is notable, who is known, who is in the entertainment industry, 
two people in the entertainment industry clashing on this kind of issue and all this drama happened, then you, might, you can imagine what would have happened if the mother of this child was a nobody. So really and truly, there's still a lot of work to do. A whole lot of work to do. I really enjoyed hearing you say that. I really enjoyed that. So now let's swap into your world now. Some of your colleagues, you know, are coming out on social media to display their worlds, their cars. Do you think it's pressure from the fans or do you think it's something they would love to do? Or do you think it's just the fan pressure? I plead the, uh, the Fifth Amendment. <laughs> on that topic, I would rather not say anything. <laughs> All right. I, I think everybody has the right to do whatever they choose to do on their page. If their fans like it, if their relatives like it, if they are happy with it, you know, and then that's fine. Um, I come from the kind of family, I'm sure they will call the family meeting before, <laughs> before 30 minutes of my posting it. They're like, what was that? Kini, 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 it's too more, it's too more, gong, gong. Eh, eh, ora go to tun, so, eh, it's too more, it's too more, eh, eh. You know, that's the kind of family I come from. So it, it depends on our backgrounds, it depends on our, our kind of fans. There are fans that that's what they like. That's what they want to see. That's why they're actually following you. So, to each his own, really. To each his own. Yeah. Well, let's go now. Last question. Let's talk about you. Don't you miss the stage? It's been long. Anything coming up soon? I, I, I don't miss the stage because I'm always on stage. I, I'm just not always on a, a, in a concert or in a live show and all that. I do my thing. I anchor events almost every weekend. That's, that's, my, that's my comfort zone. Um, give me a dinner, give me a wedding, give me an event where everybody's seated, give me a, a, a professional gathering, give me an intellectual gathering and have me host it, do my craft there, I feel more comfortable there. I think that, um, I think that um, the, the game has changed, the industry is growing, there are more people now, there are younger people now, they need the platform as well. So. Let's all keep shining. Do we expect anything soon from you? I'm speaking for myself. You mean as in like a, yes, like what princess is doing? Yeah. Hey, me. I don't have diva for some things. Maybe one day, the Lord will speak. I'm but heartbroken. Mm, please, my darling, keep your heart. <laughs> keep it intact. Because me, mm -mm, I'm a coward. <laughs> <laughs> you said that on live TV. Yes, on live TV. <gasps> I am too much of a coward, but all then right. we'll be fine. Anything you'd like to say to your fans, file it to go. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. I keep saying this in 2016 and 2000, 2015 and 2016, I was ill and I was out of circulation for close to a year. It's amazing and it takes the grace of God to still have a comeback and to still be relevant even after all that time. Thank you guys for being there for me. Thank you for still being it, believing in me and thank you for rooting for me. God bless you all. On behalf of all of us that are your fans, I'll say you're welcome. <laughs> Hey, good people, my name is Benga Denka the first and it's Badoski, Senator Badoski, Zenela Badmos TV, hey. don't stop watching. Hi guys, I'm here with your favorite comedian who's also an actor and a good cook who I love by the way. How, how you doing? How did you know I'm a good cook? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't know, even from this screen set, the arrow is killing us. Thank you. First of all, you look absolutely nice. Thank I think screen is not doing justice to you. I mean... I'm I sing. I sing. Let me give it to brother. my brother. He's in London. No? What are you saying? Yeah. Yeah. I need to see his picture. <laughs> but absolutely beautiful. I love your outfit. Yeah. Your. I said, come on. I love you in person and screen. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we're here for Princess. First of all, are you performing? Are just here to just chill? I'm actually supposed to perform. Unfortunately, I, I was a bit late, so I can't wait to get on stage. All right, is there anything you'd like to say to Princess Positive after everything she has been through this year? Anything positive you'd like to say to Princess? I wish her love. Um, I wish her peace of mind. Um, I wish her, um, you know, she loves people. She loves when people are, are happy around her. She loves love. <laughs> so I wish her love. I wish her love. <laughs> All right, now before I let you go, let's just talk about this. Um, with so much has happened this year, the um, sexual abuse, the molestation, do you think victims have a voice? Do you think they should keep speaking? Or, you know, victims are just, you know, they're always forever victims. I feel like victims should speak up. There's a certain level of closure you get when you let it out, you get. So don't be shy, keep speaking up. Um, maybe you're the answer to someone's solution. When you speak up, you motivate other victims to speak up. So speak, speak, speak up, please. <laughs> so let's talk about you a little. You cook, 
you act, you're a comedian, you do, you're always dropping content. I mean, I'm following you, one of the reasons, you give me my money for data. <laughs> I'm following, how do you juggle everything together? Because you're always trying to know, make everything balanced. How do you juggle everything together? I mean, if you have the right team, you delegate work to people, it, it's, it's easier. And then it's God's grace, actually, because he has given me the power to do all of this. So I'm grateful for that. What do you enjoy more the most? I enjoy cooking the most. Ah, your husband will enjoy you. <laughs> you know, and that your brother talk, eh? When we are done, let's go off camera. Come, come, come. Hey, wonderful people, my name is Amiola Badmos, and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Amiola Badmos TV on YouTube, so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And Patmos TV Entertainment without